that's as far as we can go now from the screen and we now need to actually make some pages so follow me to new page where we're going to create all sorts of cool pages the first page everyone needs is an about page so just write out that title and then in template choose full width because that's a great template and publish then add new and we're going to do all these at once you're also going to need a contact page so just write out that title again full width even though they do have a contact page template we're going to use full width and click publish just to keep things looking consistent you also might want a blog page type in blog and publish at this point we can also set up how the blog page looks if you go to settings reading we can set the post page to blog now just like we set the front page to front page and that'll just make any blog post you write show up on that blog page great job back to pages click add new we're also going to want a team page publish and then just for branding sake we're going to want some fun pages like comfy animal of the week publish and shelter donations and publish these are standard WordPress pages in the most basic form. They're not special pages like your account or cart, which if we click, actually will have some content in them at the moment because WooCommerce and the other plugins we're using are already working on them. Instead, these standard pages will just be completely blank, which is nice. We can create whatever we want in them. Let's go over to pages and see everything we've made and our list is looking great. But there are still more ways to create pages I'd like to show you. For example, using short codes. Let's click add new and let's create a page with a short code. And this page is gonna be our order tracking page called your orders. Creating a page using a short code is extremely useful because all you need to do is write the short code in here in the text tab and then the page will display some content according to a plugin you have installed. Short codes, in other words, communicate with plugins and display pages for you. So in some ways, this is the first example of me showing you quote unquote code, even though it's really basic. The only difficult part is knowing what short code to write. So let me write one out for you. We need to start with a bracket like this in the text tab and then just write out all lowercase WooCommerce underscore order underscore tracking and bracket and click publish. Because this is a recognized shortcode by WooCommerce, which I know because I've looked up WooCommerce shortcodes and found the available shortcodes for the current version of WooCommerce, like order tracking. I know that this will work. And when we view page, we'll get something terrible. And we can see that's because we misspelled part of the shortcode. We have to be precise here. Just one little lesson. And if I go back and edit the page, and spell WooCommerce correctly. That should be good. And update. Now when we view page, we'll see what we want, which is this nice order tracking tool. In a similar way, pages like cart are just comprised of a shortcode. If we edit page, we'll see that shortcode right here. And that's it. But these shortcodes are powerful. WooCommerce does a lot in the background to set up the features of a cart, and it's dynamic. So depending on what the user does, 
This page will show changing and updated content. Let's go back to pages. And there's yet another way to create pages that we're going to make use of after we dismiss these annoying notices. And that is to have one of the plugins do it for us, like we saw when we created the WooCommerce pages. Let's go to Memberships now, and let's have Paid Memberships Pro create our membership pages for us, so we can put them in the navigation. Just click Pages, and they've set up this link to generate pages for us. So let's do that. And we now have seven more pages. These are just the page IDs, which we don't need at the moment. But if we go to Pages, we'll see we have several different membership pages to make use of. Awesome. Finally, we need to create one custom page with the Profile Builder, just another plugin we installed earlier. So click Profile Builder. And we can see that it's working for us. And that beautiful registration forms can be created using short codes like WPPB-register or the short code or the short code. We can actually just copy a short code right from this welcome screen and go to new page paste this in the text tab and we'll get a beautiful register page which we're gonna call create an account if you're starting to think that it's tough to keep track of all these pages and how they work together, you're absolutely right. The nice thing is they're all stored together in the Pages tab of your dashboard. And I've already worked through a bunch of user experience scenarios to make sure that these specific pages work all well together. What we also want to do is modify this shortcode now. Just write in redirect underscore URL which is a shortcode command, equals quotation mark. And what we want is to redirect it to the Your Account page so that after someone signs up, they just get taken to the account page that they just created. And to make that happen, to make this page automatically redirect there, we need to paste that link in and then end the quotation mark and it looks like our closing bracket got deleted. Pretty simple but one more step further in creating and editing short codes. And we won't go much further than this in this tutorial. Let's publish and let's check out this page. View page. And now we get this beautiful create an account screen. We need to change a couple settings to make this create an account page work and look good. The first one is to go to the dashboard and click settings and then set membership to anyone can register so that people can register even if they've never visited your site and are just a random customer. We want more registrations, not less. And then next we want to go to Profile Builder and really get our hands dirty with this plugin. Click on Manage Fields and let's edit the fields that show up on this page. This screen already looks a little bit different because we set it to anyone can register, but we also want to delete some fields like nickname. To do that, just click Delete on the right field and hit OK. Let's delete biographical info. We can see there are fields here as well as headings. And I want to delete about yourself. When we refresh, we'll see those changes. Delete contact info. And we'll delete display name publicly so it gets rid of that little space. That's looking a lot more professional. All right, if you delete a field by accident or if you want to add a field in Profile Builder, just choose it from the drop down and set up some other values like the title, whether it's required or not, and then click Add Field. 
and we'll see that some fields like username just have to be required, which is probably a good idea. All right, let's refresh. With this information done, I wanna show you how this create an account page looks to someone who's not logged in. I'm gonna press Command Shift N on my Mac to open up incognito mode, denoted by this little sleuth or uh, Sherlock up here in the upper right, and go to the site, and then go to that link, create an account, and show you how someone would see it as a new user, just like this. So it's looking good, but we also want to delete that name heading in our dashboard. There we go. And of course those changes will be reflected in incognito mode as well. The user has this nice send to their email option, which of course would go to the email they fill in right here. And when you get this information on your end as the WordPress admin and the site owner, that will all come in in users, in the users tab. We can visit this now and see that we just have myself as a user, but if someone signs up, if we open up that incognito tab again and go to the site, Now we can test out a login. So maybe someone is just called test user, test user. We'll just fill in the required fields. And run a simulation of what would happen. Now someone sees this confirmation screen. And then without clicking anything, gets redirected to the your account page so they can actually log in and after they do that their information will be stored things like the products they choose and add to their wish list will be stored and saved for their convenience also things like their address will be stored and saved on your end of course you'll see another user we can refresh and now test user has been created by that person who just signed up wherever they were in the world you can also edit the user and update information to make this user perfect if they reach out to you with new information like a new shipping address or a new billing address or anything like that. So it's pretty cool, just one example of how you can do customer management on your end. Let's go back to pages where we were initially and at this point we've created all the pages we need for our site looking really good and we still have one more method to create pages which I'm going to show you now so so far we've created pages using the standard new page editor in WordPress we've used paid memberships pro memberships plugin to create pages for us we've used WooCommerce to create pages for us early on and we've created a custom page in profile builder all those pages can be duplicated and put wherever you need them on your site. And the final type of page we're going to make is a category page so that we can show only one specific type of product. Let's go to products, categories, and now just type in clothing, add new product category. All right. And then blankets add new, pillows, add new, and accessories. Because our site sells more than just pet products, it sells products that both humans and animals can enjoy. And now we can just view one of these, for example, clothing, we can view the product category. And it's actually a page. The page is just a little bit different because it includes product category within the link, also known as a URL or a permalink. And we can edit the category pretty easily. For example, we'd probably want it capitalized. And now any product that we add to this specific category will fill in on this page. I'm gonna update all our product categories so that they have capitalized first letter using the quick edit feature 
and the slug is just a WordPress way of denoting uh, what the page is called. You'll also see that slug in the uh, link. For example, the accessory slug is right here. All right, with all of our pages now finally added, we can set them up in our menu and complete that section. Head back to Appearance Menus, choose the right menu to edit, and then let's start adding. We want several pages next to Shop, like About, Contact, Blog, Team, and so on, and click Add to Menu. Those will come in. And we also want those product categories we just made, but they're not in this screen. We just get normal categories for blog posts. So let's save menu and then let's go to manage and customizer and hopefully it's a little bit more robust. All right, let's check main menu. And there we go. The menu at the moment is too large, so it drops down, but we're going to change that. We can change that by setting up the drop down items underneath the about tab. Just keep dragging and they will update automatically. I'm going to arrange them so that the shorter text is at the top, so we get this sort of cascading structure. Let's add more items. And this screen is really nice because we also get the product categories. So we can also add things like clothing, blankets, pillows, accessories. And you'll see the check mark to make sure that they're successfully added. Alright guys, we're doing great. Let's close that bring our entire about drop down to the end of the menu and I'm also going to add in that about link one more time just pages do, do, do. there it is just to make a little redundancy so that people can end up on our about page save and publish and check out what we made beautiful this menu looks very professional Let's go back and now edit our top bar menu, add items, and now we want to add in your order, create an account, my account. So this can get a little bit tricky, but just follow along and make sure you're clicking what I'm clicking so that you'll have the same result. And then let's drag this stuff up. We also want our membership links, like membership account and membership levels. And those will also go in the drop down. Now we want to change the title so that these say your, your account, your orders, your wish list almost exactly how Amazon does it. Let's change levels to choices because I'm not sure people would understand what levels means. And then let's also add in create an account one more time. But let's call this link sign up. Because some people like clicking on a sign up link. I know I do. Close it and then let's save and publish. And hopefully we should be all all done with our menus because I know you're probably getting tired of this. And we're in business. Good work. We now have a professional menu structure which will help our users get around the site. And it'll help us when we want to edit a page. We can just click that page and then start doing our work. You'll notice I'm clicking on an empty space for the logo sometimes. And that's because it's the light logo on each of our pages we're therefore going to need to click edit and choose the dark option if it's a white background then when you update and view you'll get the logo um, let's edit again and in fact let's try out the default template instead because we don't want that background image only want the background image on the home page and that looks much better